हेलो स्टूडेंट माई सेल्फ विनोद पनारा एंड टूडे वी डिस्कस सम टॉपिक ऑफ एनर्जी चैप्टर ऑफ सब्जेक्ट बी एम ई देट इज बेजिक मेकेनिकल एंजीनियरिंग सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी डिस्कस बायोमास एनर्जी हाइडल एनर्जी टाइडल एनर्जी एंड जियोथर्मल एनर्जी सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी हेव टू डिस्कस फोर फॉर्म ऑफ एनर्जी देट इज बायोमास हाइडल टाइडल एंड जियोथर्मल so now we discuss first one that is biomass energy so biomass that is organic material which has store sunlight in the form of chemical energy and biomass mainly include wood biofuel and biogas and in biogas there is a mainly methane gas now bioenergy is generated when biomass is burned now there are some advantage of biomass energy so first one plants ensure a continuous supply of energy due to their continuous growth second potential for rural area third one biogas can be used for cooking purpose and fourth one waste can be used as a fertilizer so there are some advantage of biomass energy and some disadvantage also first one except biogas production the other biomass energy source have to be established a significant role and second availability is limited so there are some advantage and some disadvantage of biomass energy okay now we discuss second one that is hydel energy now first what do you mean by hydel hydel means water energy so in hydro power plant water store in a dam in the form of potential energy and this energy by pipeline transfer and strike with turbine so potential energy converted into kinetic energy of turbine and this turbine is directly attached with generator so when turbine rotate generator also rotate and electricity produce so in hydel energy the energy in the form of flowing water can be used to produce electricity then hydro power can be generated using water collected and stored at a particular height in a dam and then transfer this water through pipeline or tunnel to the turbine which is located at the low level so when water strike on a turbine turbine rotate and electricity produce now the minimum height of waterfall that must be 10 meter this is minimum height requirement then hydro electric power generation capacity of india is 27000 10 megawatt this is the capacity of india of hydro electric power generation now there are some advantage of hydel energy first longer life because after constructing a dam we can use this energy after a long period of time second one minimum operating staff after installation and construction of dam minimum operating staff required for operating this cycle and third one non polluting and hence environmental freely non polluting and environmental freely so there are some advantage of hydel energy and there are some disadvantage also first one hydro power project take long time for clearance so time period for installation and manufacturing of and building of this hydro power plant that take too long time and very large amount of investment that is required for hydro power plant so there are some advantage and some disadvantage of hydel energy that is used in hydro power plant now third one that is tidal energy 
which is stored in the form of tide, tide of sea water. So, another form of energy which is related to local geological condition is tidal flow. As the water flow in the form of tide from higher level to lower level, it can be used to generate electricity. The tidal energy can be harnessed by constructing a tidal barrage. So, there are tidal barrage in which we have to uh, produce tidal energy. Then, during a high tide, the sea water flows into the reservoir of barrage and it turns the turbine. When turbine rotate, generator rotate and electricity produce. So, during high tide, water transfer from turbine and turbine rotate. And during the low tide condition, when the sea level is low, the sea water which is stored in the barrage flow out into the sea and again turn the turbine. So, during a high tide and during the low tide, turbine rotate, so generator rotate and electricity produce. Now, there are some advantage of tidal energy. First one, it can be source of energy for a coastal cities. Second, no raw material is required. After constructing a tidal barrage, no raw material is required. And third, generation is cheaper. So, there are some advantage of tidal energy. And some disadvantage also. First one, availability is for limited duration and it change with time and location. Second, generation capacity is less. And third, operational difficulty during bad weather. For example, cyclone or some other bad weather, operational difficulty arise in tidal power plant. So, this is about tidal energy. Now, fourth one that is geothermal energy. So, geothermal energy means heat from the earth. The earth core with a temperature as high as 60,000 degree Celsius is a molten mass of very large amount of energy. Now, this energy sometimes break through the earth and produce volcano. The steam is then used to power electric generator. So, in geothermal power plant or in geothermal energy, we have to use high temperature gas which is present below the earth's surface. We have to use this amount of energy for steam and then this steam is used to generate uh, electricity in power plant. Then, there are some advantage of geothermal energy. First one, it is an inexhaustible energy resource. It means very large amount. Second one, it is very cheap. And third, it is good for hilly and remote area where no other source of energy is available. So, this has some advantage of geothermal energy. Then, there are some disadvantage also. First one, this hot spring are generally away from the area having potential of industrial development. So, this power plant that is away from the industrial and commercial area. Second one, the stream energy is to be used as it cannot be carried out for a longer distance due to loss of energy and due to cost factor also. Because there are some uh, very large distance. So, if we transfer this energy in large distance, so there is, there is a chance of heat loss, amount of heat loss. Okay. So, in this lecture, we discuss mainly four form of energy in which first biomass energy, second one hydral energy, third tidal energy and fourth geothermal energy. Okay. Thank you.